This is Scott Anglin again with JSA Foundation Repair. Today is August the 5th, 2015. We're located in West Cobb and decided to push this brick wall over to save it. As you can see, it's pulled away from this siding house. Now we're going to begin to push it back in. All right, Chris, if you'll go ahead and get it started. There we go. Now we're going to take our hydraulics and press it in. See how far we can get this wall in. Real slow. Going all the way back in. Almost there. Keep going on in. About a quarter. Right there, perfect. Wanted to show this video of how we press in veneer walls without tearing them down and re-bricking them. The customer will never have matched these brick. So now we've got to pin that wall to the poured wall. That in itself is a whole other trick and can't show that on the video, but I wanted to show how we jack up walls that are pulled away. Another quality job done by JSA. This is Scott Angle again with JSA Foundation Repair. March 4th, 2016. Still on Ackworth, Georgia, part two of a job. We're jacking over this window area above the roof line. As you can see the roof here, they laid the brick on the roof and there is no lintel supporting that brick and it's pushed out that trim board at the top left. See all that caulking that they put in right up in there on the left, right there. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this thing back over into place and see if we can save the wall without rebuilding it. I'm gonna hold the camera right here and we're gonna see if we can get it to go in. Okay, let's hydraulically press it in place. Go ahead. See it going back in. There's a gap also over there on the right side that will also close up. Keep going. Be about halfway there, brick sliding across the lintel just right. If we tore all this down and rebricked it, it'd stick out like a sore thumb. So we have a way that we do it that holds it forever without tearing it down. How tight's your jack? Pretty tight. That's it, right there. Right there? Yep, and there's the gap closed up over there. We'll do the finishing up with the mortar work. But now that gap is all nicely and closed up, they can do the necessary caulking. Wanted to show how we push over these walls, and now you can see there's a gap up there away from the trim board. Put your finger in that hole up there now, Bobby. Now you can see we're pushed off that trim board like we're supposed to be. So we will pin everything into place. We don't really show that because it takes a while. But another quality job done by JSA. This is Scott with JSA Foundation Repair. Today is June 19th. 2015 and we are in Johns Creek, Alpharetta, Georgia. As you can tell, the customer has a three car garage and the center column has started to go down here and it has actually pulled away as well. And what we have done is we've installed a pier down here below the footing and now we're going to attempt to push the wall in and jack it up at the same time. We'll see what happens here. Got it in. Let's see if we can get it up. There it goes. All the way back up. All the way back up to the original position. Now we let go and it holds. Just wanted to say that what we'll do now is pour the concrete back, pin this wall, and do the necessary mortar work. Another quality job done by JSA. This is Scott Engel with JSA Foundation and Mason Repair. We're at an apartment complex in East Cobb and we are jacking over this entrance wall if you can tell this wall is pulled away and going to the right about two or three inches and we've got a couple of piers installed you can actually see how top that wall is at a level like that so we've got some piers installed we're going to try to close this gap as much as possible and we're going to alternate our cylinders to see if we can get it back to plumb straight and level all right go ahead and crank that machine camera and we're going to try to film this. Here we 
we go. That one's one, another one on the back is two. Really close right there. And that's it. Okay, look at this casino. What I want to show in the video is if you can tell the top is now level and we have a consistent gap all the way down from top to bottom. And someone had added mortar in there and, little, and took off all the little pieces. So uh, basically we're going to have the owner of this complex have a stonemason come back in and redo that. But as far as saving this foundation, you can now tell that we're back up to plumb straight and level. Here we'll step back a little bit and show you how much better that looks now that it's nice and level. Another quality job done by JSA. This is Scott Anglin with JSA Foundation and Mason Repair Specialist. We're in Ackworth, Georgia, May 1st, 2017. And the customers called us out because they have a set of steps that is backed up beside a retaining wall to the left side. And the retaining wall has been compromised because it's on fill dirt and it has split right in half. All the way up to the end right there. And what we've done is we've dug down about five feet or so. See if I can hold the camera there. Way down there is one of our piers. And we're going to try to jack this retaining wall back into place and to do that I'm gonna see if I can hold this camera real still and watch this portion of the wall move all right go ahead and crank that machine there's our crack and here we go trying to see if we can get this back into place okay a little tight in here with these bushes but I want to show these retaining walls when they split how you can fix them. Here we go. And there you go. That crack will patch. I'll do an after video to show that. Cut the machine off. That retaining wall closed right back up. And as you can tell, everything is nice and plumb and straight and level. Piers holding up. We'll cover all this up. Do a nice video afterwards when we're done. Show our mortar repair too. Another quality job done by JSA. Scott Angle again with JSA Foundation Mason Repair Specialist. May 1st, 2017. This is part two of the video of the cleanup. Had a big hole there about six foot down. And we brought this retaining wall up. It had a huge gap. And we also patched the crack here. And that will dry as dark right now. And that huge crack that was there earlier is now going to patch it. If you'll hold that camera, take the show a picture of that way, hold your camera back further. And you see the crack right there is now gone. It's all patched up. And now it's all done. So let me see your phone again. Hopefully you can see all of that in the video um, along with that, that huge, huge crack that was there. Another quality job done by JSA.